this is Susanna. Welcome to the review. Thanks so much for subscribing to my channel and for watching my videos. Now, here is another subject that you might find useful, mostly in the situations where you find yourself stuck. Have you ever considered the possibility that the reason for which you uh, feel and are stuck in your life could be the fact that you are giving yourself only two bad options? Because you see, somewhere, somehow, we have adopted this point of view of an either-or universe. And while in the physical reality we're used to functioning within this dualistic paradigm, you know, up and down, day and night, etc. And while our thinking mind, or manas, is said to react to extreme variations of opposites, such as cold, hot, uh, wet, dry, success, failure, for the purpose of a safe navigation, in this physical realm, in truth, we all know that at any given moment, we have available an extensive amount of options at any given moment. So, perhaps you feel stuck now, as you have the impression that you have to choose between two less desirable options. Think of it for a moment. If you had to choose between being happy or being sad, what would you choose? If you were to choose between being healthy or being sick, what would you choose? It is obvious that when you have among your two options a choice that you can recognize is good for you, you would go for it, wouldn't you? But what do we do if we give ourselves the choice between being sick and being sick, between having no money and having no money, between being unhappy and being unhappy. Now, this is a tough choice. We don't feel like choosing anything, and of course, we're feeling stuck and nothing moves, nothing changes. So, in your case, perhaps you feel stuck because on your menu, you only have two choices that are not to your liking. Now, you see, generally speaking, we feel depressed, down, and stuck because mentally we give ourselves only the options of negative choices, bad choices. For example, I either have to keep my present job, uh, which doesn't give me any satisfaction and I'm quite unhappy with it, or try to go on my own, but uh, forced to go through instability and lack of uh, uh, prosperity and so on. Or, for instance, talking relationships. I either stay with this partner of mine that I'm unhappy with, or I will. I could leave him or her and feel lonely and undesired and depressed. So what you're telling yourself is that no matter what you choose, it's going to be a bad choice. And this is where you get stuck. Nobody wants to be unhappy. We don't want to choose options that are bad for us, do we? And I hope you realize that by thinking that way, the message that you're giving to your unconscious mind is that there is no other possibility. You have to remember that we always perceive reality through filters, either through what we've been exposed to or learned, or simply through the filters of our own dosha. Now, please tell me, since when the universe is only giving two alternatives. I mean, look at this diversity around us that exists out there at all levels. And since when have you been functioning with these two bad choices strategy? Hmm? Since when? Uh, that the only way you can choose for you is by taking yourself out of choice, by giving yourself two creepy alternatives. Now, this is an important question. Or maybe some of us have been forced to make choices of this sort uh, early in life or to take sides. Or we simply learn the habit of choosing the least bad choice. You know, you don't get all that you want, but at least you have something. We are not used to go for the best possible option and stick with it. The option that includes everything that we want. Now, this video will be on this mental habit that puts you in the situation where you have to choose between two less desirable solutions. When you unconsciously are giving uh, uh, yourself only these two bad options just to make sure that you are not going to fulfill your desires. Now, whichever the case is, 
Let's undo all that. And let's do a tapping session together. Please think of where you feel stuck. And before starting the tapping, pause the video for a moment and reflect upon this situation where you feel stuck and be honest with yourself. Think which are the two bad options that you're giving yourself. And allow yourself to feel that in your body. Think of your first choice and how bad it seems to be and see how you're feeling about it. Think of your second option and see how you're feeling about it. And please realize that when you do that, you're basically taking uh, yourself out of option. You are setting yourself up for failure. Because when you go for one of these two choices, you will end up unsatisfied, bitter, resentful, and disappointed with your life, thinking that your life is unfair. Thinking that life is unfair and cruel. Having the feeling that you have passed by something important. Finding some consolation in the idea of sacrifice. So you can cope better or a bit better with letting a desire or a dream passing you by. Now let's do the tapping and change all that. Even though I only give myself the choice between less than ideal options, I choose to deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though, in this situation, I don't know what to choose. As both options are bad, or seem bad to me, I choose to deeply and completely love and accept myself Anyway, even though I have divided the reality in two, and I see this universe as an either-or universe, when in fact, I have a multitude of options, I choose to deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. We move into the points. I feel stuck as I don't know what to choose. If I choose the first option, Please think of your first option. It's not good. If I choose the second option, think of your second bad option. It's not good. I have no real choice here. Both options are bad. No matter what I choose, it will turn out badly and I'll be unhappy. I'll feel bitter and resentful. Please take a deep breath. Let's say this again. No matter what I choose, it will turn out badly. You see, that's why I feel stuck. No matter what I choose, it will come out badly. No matter what I choose, it will turn out badly. Feel that in your body. No matter what I choose, it will turn out badly. Feel that in your body and breathe through it and release it. No matter what I choose, it will turn out badly. Now, when is it the first time that I started to feel this way? When is it the first time that I started to feel this way? When is it the first time that I had to choose between two bad options? Take a deep breath, please. When did I start thinking this way? Now allow yourself to go back in time when you first started this strategy. When you were giving two bad choices, take another deep breath. Your unconscious mind knows the answer. The information is there. Breathe through that. Choose to breathe through this and choose to release this mechanism, this strategy. I choose to release it all now. I choose to release everything that I'm doing and that I've done. To function out of choice. I choose to release everything that I've done and I'm doing, consciously or unconsciously, to function out of choice. By seeing or giving myself only two bad options. Here and now I release this mechanism. Say it a minute. In all security, I release it now. Take another deep breath, please, and allow for this release to happen. 
Now let's move into reminding yourself of the truth and opening yourself towards more options. What if in this situation where I feel stuck there are more than two options? What if in reality I have more than two options? What if there are more solutions that I haven't yet considered? Please take a deep breath. What if there is one solution that includes everything that I want and need in this particular situation? What if there are more solutions that include everything that I want and need? Solutions that don't require compromise. What other solutions are available here? Take a deep breath. Allow this question to go deep down in your unconscious mind. What other solutions are possible here? What other solutions are possible here? Again, what other solutions are possible here? What other choices do I have here? Here and now, I allow for more choice and more possibilities to be revealed. Here and now, I allow for more choice and more possibilities to be revealed. Here and now, I allow for more choice and more possibilities to be revealed. Again, here and now, I allow for more choice and more possibilities to be revealed. You have all these answers inside. Take a deep breath. Relax your mind, stretch it, expand it. Come on, there could be a thousand trillion synapses happening in your brain right now. Allow your brain to work through this and make new connections. I relax my body and my mind and allow for new insights and new possibilities to come right here and right now. I relax my body and my mind and I allow for new insights and new possibilities to come right here and right now. I relax my body and my mind and I allow for new insights and new possibilities to come right here and right now. I relax my body and my mind and I allow for new insights and new possibilities to come right here and right now. Deep down, I know exactly what I want. Again, deep down, I know exactly what I want. Deep down, I know exactly what to do. Deep down, I know exactly what to do. I relax my body and my mind and I allow for new insights and new possibilities to come right here and right now. Now take a deep breath and sit. Close your eyes and sit quietly for a few moments. Feel your body. Feel that peace of mind. Feel how you are connected with that part of you who knows, allowing for inspiration and creativity, for new ideas to bubble up. And if you believe that you have to give up on something in order to get something, then allow for a new solution to come forth, which allows for everything that you want and need to happen. And let me know how this involves for you. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.